What's up guys, here we go with our second part in the 22 Thrill Deep Run that we are reviewing. And in the first part you saw me grind up my stack to 56k, so let's just continue from there and see how we went along in this tournament. 3x here, of that stack size I don't uh, hate the fold at all, I think that's the way to play the hand. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the first part guys, I'm ready to put out some more parts of this, it was a fun run, and it should be interesting for you guys. Take it suited, um, definitely like absolute bottom of my opening range here, I usually just fold and I think that's fine, um, and the standard line. So I'm not super happy about that open. H10 suited was a 2.5x, still the big man's deep, I think through red calling is fine, that's what we go for. And here's queens, and obviously we suck out, runner runner, green cards, the lucky green cards. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's just standard for 30 bigs, we could also just call, but he would be race jamming like ace a8 and all that stuff, so I think that's a fine play. Obviously calling position isn't bad either, ace check suited is like pretty much the bottom of my stacking off the range there. I mean he jams, we have an easy fold, he goes for another one, ace 10 still a fold in the spot. You could, I mean he seems like a little bit crazy here still. So Maybe S10 will be nice versus that range. But I rather like the f I suit in the small blind than in the big blind. A check it back, really nice check back in my opinion. We, I mean, especially versus a maniac like him. I mean, that's all the stats that I have on him now. He seems like a loose player. Obviously, only 19 hands, not a big sample size. But we can certainly induce some bluffs, and we don't have the strongest queen either. And he just champs turn and has queen 10. <laughs> that is pretty unfortunate. <laughs> um, but yeah, what can you do? So I expect him to have a draw and he just over pot champ the turn there. Well, we're ready to get our chips back and 3-bet get it in here with the tens. He calls. Um, we check the flop, which I think is fine. Uh, we don't need much protection, you know, right? I bet like 7 on the flop, but with the tens we're only afraid of an ace-king check. And there's another one of those, so we are just checking it again. River we could go for a small bet. Maybe get caught from 7s, 8s, 9s. I really don't think he has too many diamonds. Would expect him to bet on a turn. So... I think this is a good spot to go for some thin value. I would go a little smaller, like with around 4k, but the sizing is fine as well. He makes the call and has check 9. Makes sense as well. Um, obviously a bad call to our 3-bet preflop. But yeah, what can you do? He still off, we open up. He calls again, no surprise. Top pair. Um, I think because he calls so wide here, it's fine to go for 3 streets with ace-10. Um, Usually, I wouldn't hate to just check it back here on a dry flop like this and go for two streets, but yeah, it's fine as well. We get two calls. Yeah, like, if you go for a bet on the flop, you probably have to bet turn again. Um, but yeah, we are kind of scared as well that we got two calls. So I don't hate to check and then just try to get some value in the river again. He makes a straight. Good thing for us that he bet that small. Um, yeah, usually I would have just, like, either checked back flop or, like, bet bet and then check back river since we're in position. I like that a little more. Check 9 off now, we gotta check it back, versus a limp. Um, if he, we could also 3 exit here pre, but the issue is just like if you 3x here any chance you have to fold and check 9, but it's pretty good in position. So he checks the flop, when people check flop like this, I mean either they have complete give up, some like king queen maybe, um, but also some lot of 7s and 5s, so we definitely want to be betting flop. Now he leads turn, I think we got a call, and on this river we would, I would have to pay off, but he checks it to us and I think we have a clear value bet, go around half pot, he just folds. So I guess he just went for a weird bluff there on the turn with maybe like some, something like, I don't know, 10 eight, 10 eight of diamonds? No, that has a straight, I don't know. Pretty weird spot for him to like check off flop and then de turn. King Queen on the button. He champs 11 bigs, we go for the ISO. Oh, I think that's certainly fun play. Bink! <laughs> Queen's no good. Taking it down. Outblade. Outblade there. I mean, our ISO is correct, and that's what matters in this spot. Queen check, we take it down. Oh, pick up the sevens. Definitely raising those. Flat from middle position. Checking flop is fine. I'm just giving up. Like, the check is pretty good for splitting range, especially in the king. You're just giving up. So, yeah, I don't hate that at all. It's 9 now on the big blind. And just folding. At least I defended my big blind. This is fold, open up the checks, big blind calls, flop is set, oh this is a can't, 
I remember now. This is like six months ago, and I haven't looked at this footage at all, but I remember this hand. I think that... Oh. Well, maybe I remember like a summer hand. I expect him to re some stack off as ace-10, but that wasn't another tournament, I guess. Um, yeah. That is weird as hell. Um, I think we should just mark the hand here. Yep, good job, Henry. A lot of people only do this with aces and only aces. Some people with king-queen as well. Um, but yeah, we're not doing too great with that, so just folding here. If you would have chance any big blinds deep, I would have folded my deuces as well. Um, but it would have been a close one. Maybe the ace 10. Oh, I think we got move tables again. Just take it down. And I have a student in the big blind. Oh, interesting. I like that. Um, you know, we want to be defending here a decent amount, but um, also it's a good hand to be bluffed through betting out of the big blind. Since you're 50 big men's deep, I want to go for a bigger size and go, so something like 8k here is much better in my opinion. He makes the call though. We start with the check. It's also a spot where I could just take a third, but like go for a small c bed. Um, yeah. I think that's that's what I would do these days, just like betting like around 35% pot. But now we got a check call turn with our gut shot and binking it, obviously, why not? And we win versus queen check of spades. Um, yeah, I think it's fine that he checks that back on the flop. I mean, on the turn and on the river, I think we definitely want to be checking the spades break. So we can get action from like king queen, king queen of spades. That's like a hand that could be bluffing here. And yes, the king queen, just in general, without the spades as well, might be bluffing. So we definitely want to bluff catch again on the river. I do not have that many nines either, maybe pocket nines. Um, but yeah, I think that's a good river for him to bluff again. Get me off some of my 10x that I have. Maybe. Um, I think this fold is fine. We could also call. I'm not quite sure. I'm not calling here too much. He champs as well. Good champs, so I don't hate the fold at all. Queen Sam Sewer, definitely an open on the button. Big Ben defense. One third seabed. Good stuff, man. Oh, good turn. Kind of fire again. He calls. On this river, it really depends if you want to go for three streets. Um, you can have four, five, sixes. We expect him to three bet nines, even though he's pretty tight. We shouldn't have all too many 8x. The issue is we do not have the strongest 7. He could have a7. I do not think he floats us with king 7 though. So I wouldn't hate to go for another bet here on the river. Yep, he has 4s. Yep, I think there's a spot where we should go for another bet. And that's just me thinking, oh, an overcard peels off. But he really doesn't have many 10s, 8s here. And even though he, he can have some deuces, I still think we should go for like some small value down the river again. He might even get locked up by ace high, you know, just not believing us. Move tables again, and say it on the button, just the fold. Sevens now, gonna call in here as well, we wanna be set mining here. Seven big blinds deep, super good spot to do so. Easy fold on the flop. And we're definitely losing it up, lo getting looser and looser here. I don't hate the six as usual, open though. Obviously it's pretty loose though. But it's a soft tournament as well. Just giving up here, I mean, this flop just smashes his flying range, and we do not have any draw to go with if you're bluffing here, so I'm just out of that hand. Now if we fold, same time the big blind. Easy defend. Oh, I start defending, man. Maybe this was at the beginning where I was like distracted by the other tables that I was still playing, and now I had time to focus. Um, we can f easy fold down the flop, obviously. It's a good spot to be through betting. Nice. Man, I wasn't that bad, actually, back in the days. Take it down. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of like, oh my god, 10 8 off on the button. Henry, let's go. <laughs> oh man. I mean, I know I was pretty bad back then, and but yeah, it's just nice to see some of these opens that I didn't expect myself to do. All right, queen for suit from the cutoff. I like it, I like it. Come on. Let's bash these motherfuckers. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of like flatting the small blind all too much. I threw better a lot. I didn't flat it much in a, out of small blind at all. It's just like we're out of position and it's tough to play our hands profitably. I mean, I might look at the knight four, maybe do something blind versus blind. Eight champs, we fold. Target eights now. Um, three picks here. Yeah, I don't think we want a three bet call really for like 40 picks here versus him, so I think we should flat here. But um, three betting is fine as well. He will not four bet champ that much, so yeah, I think that's fine as well. Alright, ace is easy game, he opens, he jams, he 50 bigs, it's just a re-jam here, I mean it's pretty effective, I do not have a calling range here that would ever fold, so we just jam, make our range a lot wider, here's ace king, unlucky sir, we hold with our aces. So yeah man, just we off, picking up some nice momentum, picking up aces again, 
really running up a stack here and I have a good spot here, so you know, 80 bigs, you know, loving life, loving life. Just gonna fold to check time with that open, fold, fold. Oh man, huge days to be open. I mean, this is just a nice position we're in, 62 bigs. He opens, gonna defend. Oh, we go for another 3 bet, man, oh, <laughs> I was I was 3 betting a lot back in the days, man. Um, yeah, once again, I don't hate it. Um, it's just not that he's like that wide. Look at his tight button opening set, 13%, that's ultra tight. Well, actually, it was the cutoff, right? This guy, yeah, he was in the hand. But yeah, uh, I'm not a super big fan of this 3 bet versus a tight guy like him. Um, but you know, I usually just flat here. But we go for the 3 bet. And he calls, and we go for a small C bet. Actually, this guy was also the fine table later as well, and he just folds, so it worked out pretty good. But yeah, I don't like the three bet in the first place. Once again, three X in blind versus blind, taking it down. I really hope you guys can take like a couple of things away from here, and I'm not talking too fast. I mean, this is the first video I do in this style, so I really hope you guys do like it. And please, every feedback you can have, put it in there. I really try to produce the best videos I can, and even though my English sounds weird sometimes with the German accent, I hope it's still valuable for you guys. Cool. Obviously, I would have jammed this, uh, called a small blind there. Kings now. Easy open. Man, look at this table. Do you see how, how much these guys are folding? Like, look at this. We just, we just gotta be opening so wide here. We really have to, like, look at this. Like, we could... We, this is like probably, alright, all right, this is like maybe a little too wide, but like, these guys are just like folding so much, it's absurd. Obviously check out fold, so, uh, offsuit should always go in the mark in this spot. We go for the C-bet. Um, yeah. I mean, we have to check out diamonds. Nine gives us a straight. I like to C-bet. Can make him fold like some ace-jacks, ace kings to some people for that, that are that tight. Um, I like a big bet here on the turn. We try to wrap ace-queen, ace-ten. A7 suited, king check, um, make him fold like queen x, you know if he has king queen here without a diamond, I think we'll see a lot of folds there. Maybe sizing is a little too big, but, nah, but actually I really like it, and there's a fold, good stuff. Oh my please king, get jammed on, snap calling, bink, gotta win flips if you want to run deep. I actually really like this queen that's usually open, it's usually way too wide, but given the moment, amount of folds we have seen on this table, I think it's good. For the zero we defend, and... This is really big sizing here, but we cannot really jam, so we just gotta fold and hate our life. <laughs> well, I mean, enough of our life, look at my stack. So we 3x again, get defended. Um, we could see bad flop, I don't hate a check card either. And just lose the queen 10, alright, could have gotten worse. So ace was a pretty good river, would have probably called river, I'm not sure. It really depends on opponents. People are not laughing enough usually. Defending for it suited. Okay. I guess I was just multi tabling and distracted. Calling the flop. Folding turn. Um wouldn't hate a three bet here or just a fold. And both are fine options. Do this now. We just fold. Yep. I mean we can like with my stack I could call, but he only has twenty three big, so you know if he was sixty big Steve, we could set mine here. But this stack depth folding is definitely the way to go. Now we're gonna defend. Nice. Okay, I'm starting to defend my big bet now. Calling the C bet. And definitely gotta call a one third pot here. I mean, I guess he has something like checks that he bet on the flop. It's kind of weird. I'm not really sure what you. I mean, maybe you have to fold this. Let's look at the action again. This is an interesting hand. So he c-bets one third pot, I think that's pretty standard. Checks it back on the turn. So, I mean, I, le I guess like he doesn't have a flush at this point. I really think he would go for three streets with that. I don't think he has something like king queen with the king of hearts, or queen check with the queen of hearts, so he bets more on the flop, flop which makes sense, because I think he would just continue doing that. Uh, betting that on the turn to push, off, push up me off my sevens, my, my deuce, my small pocket pairs that I might have. So I really don't think we are good here in the river all too often. I guess he's like just a weak ace x, maybe river the straight. Nah, he shouldn't really have a straight either, especially with the sizing. So I know I really don't see what we beat here and 
would like to see a fold on my end. Yep, there we go, ace duels. I mean, it doesn't really make much sense for him to check the flop. I think that's a pretty bad check back. It just lets us realize so much equity of the 7-10. And he can just definitely get caught again by like a weaker ace x. So yeah, I would have liked to fold down the river. I mean, the price is pretty good, but we're just never good there. And he checks back the turn. I haven't looked at his hand history prior to that, guys, so you know, I make my decisions here while watching the hand. Obviously, I don't have timing tabs or anything like that. Like a check here once again, ace and zero here was a button, a fan, and a small blind call. Going for three streets is a little too thin, we have to back the spades to come along as well. Now we fire big on the turn, and gonna check, and phew. It's a pretty tough one here on the turn, down the river. He just doesn't have many bluffs here. He might have something like checks without a diamond, you know, something like that, like tens here. But I don't really expect him to bluff that. Um, I think it's just a spot we have to fold. Like when once he calls out big sizing and position, I think he has like a lot of like either he has like two pairs here or like other ace x, maybe some sets. But all of the stuff isn't bending the river, you know. So he only has like king x, with like a, or like with like a king queen off, king of diamonds, something like that. So I really like my fold down the river. Ace king we open and this guy fights the cutoff. I think we got to check our flop here. And he just continues banning. Um, this is kind of interesting now. I mean, I still have like aces and kings to check here sometimes because he doesn't have that many nines and sevens. But what we see here is that he really likes the corporate button, 38%. So he certainly has like 9 8 suits and 7 5 suits and that stuff. So I think we can just fold the turn here. Even though we make a mistake here sometimes, he could be bluffing with king 10, check 10, for example, has equity 10 8 suited. But I. Don't mind the full detail. We also want to stay away from these spots. They can be like so swingy when you go deep in a tournament. But however, we played some. Uh, we were pleading a little bit. We're down to 40 bigs now. And hopefully, can find a spot or two to stack up again. Check the suit. We're just gonna fold. Queen on off, maybe. Nope. 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 Aces. Hello. Oh. Call ya. Quads, holy shit, we flop quads and he makes a backdoor boat. The backdoor boat. <laughs> GG, sir. And win that one. And there we go in the big band. So I will just call this another session. And once again, guys, as in all the videos before, and the more videos to come, please give me feedback on the series. What can I improve on? Should I talk a little slower? Should I, I don't know, put in some other stats? I don't know. Just let me know what you think. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the series, don't forget to subscribe, more videos coming up, so definitely be sure to stay around and check those guys out as we go deep in this tournament. In the next video, we will get to the final table and then we go from there. So thanks for hanging out guys, have a good day and good luck at the tables.